Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the cards for the 25th of April 2017. Right, okay, everything's back in the flow, back to the craziness and, and stuff like that. Can I please just say before I start the readings, um, during the day I am reading most of the time I'm working, so if you send me an email and I don't reply to it straight away, it's because I am busy. I do... Um, check my emails in between all readings, okay? And, you know, I, I, I check my emails, I check my messages and stuff like that. And as soon as I get time, I will reply because I, I get quite a lot of emails and then they email and then they email again and then they email me on a different platform and then on a different platform. And it's just, you know, I, I do get all of the messages and I do reply when I can. So sorry I've had to come back and say that straight away, but it's if you think I'm getting a lot on a daily basis, you know, and I, I have them flagged, which ones that I'm going to answer and, you know, they, they go in order and then when there's more keep coming and coming and coming, it just all gets confusing and it's, like I say, I can get to everybody when I can. There's only one of me. I wished we could actually clone me, but it would make my life a lot easier. But anyway, <laughs> back to the cards today. Um, I, I hate it when I've got to start with something like that, but it's I, I've got to nip them in the bud straight away because it's it's like I say, you know, uh, I need to make this work for for all of us. And the second it gets too much pressure, then that's it, you know. So right, the card that we have today, a bit different to the card that we had yesterday, very different actually. This is the three of cups. So we had the four of cups yesterday, the disillusionment and everything like that. Today we've got the three of cups, and this is a much nicer card. Look at the colours in that. I don't know if the colours are actually coming through, how vibrant they are, but they're such a beautiful, beautiful card. Really, really high energy coming through with this. And within this card, what this is talking about, it's talking about friendships and it's talking about connections and celebrations. And it's like it's talking about ultimate joy, you know. These people in here, they're just like dancing, you know, in a band and they, you know, nothing else matters. A really strange, we've been watching um, some uh, videos and looking at photos of the old hippies in the 60s and stuff like that. And there's, some of them are absolutely amazing. I would have loved to have lived there, would have loved to have took some of these photographs as well. Um, and basically, it's like, Everybody was dancing like nobody was watching, you know, there was no ego there, there was a freedom, you know, and everybody was connecting on a certain level. And this is what this is saying, you know, those people then, you know, the summer of love and whatever, they were celebrating life, you know, so every single day was a celebration. And this is what this card's saying, you know, every day try and connect on some level and bring, you know, like sort of laughter, love, fun, play into your life. You know, this is what you live for. You know, this is what life, life is meant to be enjoyed. You know, it's not meant to be a struggle. At times we do get things that make our life a struggle. But if you can still see the positivity, even through the dark times, you know, because you will still have your friends there. Your friends are there through the good times and the bad times. So it's just about connecting with them. And it's about knowing that they can actually bring the sunshine on a rainy day to your world. You know, because like I say, within this, you know, that sky is just, it's its absolutely beautiful. And it's, it's sort of like, you know, it, it's a real color blue and, and whenever I get blues in tarot it always talks to me about healing but communication as well and this is it just knowing that you have somebody there to talk to even if you're going through something dark you know knowing your, your, your true friends know your worth and they remind you of it when you forget it you know so this is why friendships are so important as well within this card it's like their cups are overflowing you know, the fields are full of flowers here, you know, and this is saying, it's like, you know, like every day there is something to be happy for. You know, we don't realize what we had until it's actually gone. And then, and then we miss it. You know, I, um, I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone the other night and I was like, oh yeah, somebody's been to see the house today. And she was asking when I could get out and it, you know, and I said pretty much straight away and it just went silent. And my friend was like, I'm 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 pretty devastated that you're going. I'm really, really gonna miss you and I wanna spend as much time with you as I can before you go. And I was like, but 
I'm not going anywhere. I'm going, but I will still be there. You know, there's, there's friendship, there's Skype, there's, there's all of that. But it was, there was, the silence brought a realisation that, shit, Tanya's not going to be just there. I kind of just call round and, and stuff like that. And it is sad, but, you know, the, the friendship that's there that will travel the miles, you know, that, that that's it. It will always, it will always be there. And this is what this card says. I think within life, a lot of times we get too caught up in daily life that we forget our connections or we forget, you know, the, the, the people who, who make us feel alive as well. And, you know, like life is, it's not about, you know, living to work. It's about working to live, you know. And the second it becomes this working to live, you know, you really need to address it and sort of say, you know, like nobody ever lies on their deathbed and goes, you know what, I really wished I'd done that overtime that time. You know, what they say is, I wished I'd spent more times with friends. You know, I wished I'd actually allowed myself to enjoy myself more. These are the regrets that people have, you know, when they're taking their last breaths, they realize how many breaths that they wasted, you know. So this is saying, you know, you will be, you will find something to be happy about every single day when you connect with others. You know, a lot of people think being solitary and stuff like that works. And it, you know, it's nice to have that little bit, but the connections, you know, as I said yesterday, you know, we are, we are born to love and we are born to connect with other people. If you watch children, you know, children before the egos got in, you take them to a playground, they're not bothered that they don't know anybody. They just go running off and within within seconds they've made new friends. They'll go and they'll talk to strangers and they're friendly and they're open and they form these connections, you know. And this is what we need to do as adults. We need to realise that, you know, our friendships do not stop when we leave school. You know, our playtime does not stop when we leave school. This is about bringing it into everyday life, you know, like nurturing these emotional ties. It doesn't have to be family, you know, it doesn't have to be partners. Your friends will outlast a majority of them, you know. I mean, how many of you have still got friends from school and how many of you have had breakups and different partners or whatever, you know, but your friends are still there. Your friends follow you. And that is the sign of a true friendship. And, you know, when you find your tribe, you just know, you know, and you feel it. And they make you feel safe. They make you feel loved. And they make you feel worthy as well. They've chosen, they've chosen you. And to completely be yourself around people is fabulous. Because when we look at this card, because they are there together, they are able to take their masks off. So this is when you can be your true self. You know, the mask you wear on the outside world, you don't need it around friends. They already know your soul. That is why they, your, that is why they are your friends. And this card, you know, this card is looking at, it was a fest, it's talking about a festival and the festival was about was celebrating Dionysus and you know what people would do people would stop work and they would go out and they would drink wine and you know and there was always poetry and there was always music you know and there was playfulness if you have a look you know all of them are like you know they're having an absolute whale of a time so this card is saying let your hair down you know enjoy life go out and live it you know, it is meant to be enjoyed. You know, express yourself through. You can express yourself through music, through art, whatever. You know, you think you put some music on, your vibration changes. You know, dance around the house, whatever. You know, it's, it's, this is what it's about. You know, life is, life is sweet. This is what it's saying. Don't make it bitter. You know, when it, when you are by yourself and, when you close yourself off, this is when you get that bitterness, you know, and life is, is sweet and it's meant to be, it's meant to be enjoyed. Now, I'm getting here and I don't understand where this, what this is saying here, but there is something that is connected to divine intervention here. Something I feel this week, so today or in the next three days, 
something. I mean, we've got another bank holiday at the end of the weekend, haven't we? Yeah, the end of the week, yeah. So this could be, you know, about just getting together with friends and 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 sort of spending time with them, you know. Um, but this divine intervention, I don't know what it is, but I feel it's like right. Okay, I'm trying to get. Showing me through a lens, so I feel this could have something to do with a photograph as well. But it's like I feel there's going to be like something presented to either you or your friends or something like that over over the next coming days. But this is going to be really, really positive. There's going to be a celebration. There's going to be something to celebrate where I feel everybody getting together, you know, laughing. It's like I can hear the clinking glasses here. So there's you know, there's some sort of, yeah, there's a celebration here and it's like, mm, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get what uh, is coming here. It's, there's something magical. This is what I'm getting. So watch out for this because this is, this is pretty, pretty strange. Right, now then when we come to the Osho card, this actually, I looked at it and I, it really, really made me sad. So you've got, you've got these people all there, you know, having a whale of a time, loving life and, you know, and, and enjoying themselves. And then you've got this, you know, and this is, you know, there's a really sad feeling comes with this card and it's called the outsider. And this is linked to the five of pentacles in traditional tarot. Now, the five of pentacles is an empty feeling. Now, we had that yesterday with the four of cups, didn't we? You know, and this is saying, you know, there's an empty feeling. There's a there's a feeling of being alone. And like I've said, you know, with this, it's about the connections. So if we look at this little boy there, he's looking out through this gate and he's looking at a rainbow on the other side. And if we have a look at that card, it's pretty rainbow-like, isn't it? So it's like he's looking and, and watching what is going on there and not feeling a part of it, you know? And it's it's like these this gate is his prison in some way, you know? So he kind of get to this rainbow at the other side. So it's like he feels very helpless here. And it's like, you know, when, when I look at this card, I sort of want to go and like pick him up, you know, and give him a hug sort of thing. Cause he just looks a little bit, I don't know. I mean, even he's, he straps on, on, he straps on, on properly there. He just looks like he needs looking after. <laughs> That's what I think on this, you know? Um, but it's like, I don't know if any of you have had that feeling, you know, when, when you're young and, you know, it's like when you feel like you've been left out, you know, if some people all get invited to a, a birthday party and you don't get an invite and it's, it's this like depth, horrible, horrible feeling, you know, or if you were not asked to play, you know, you would just look out of your window and watch all of the other kids playing and, you know, feel like, very disconnected, you know, disconnected from them and disconnected from the outside world as well, you know, and it's like this boy is, you know, there's structures either side of him, there's this gate, you know, there, and it's it's sort of, I don't know, I mean, these structures could be, you know, what we have been built on, what, what our lives have been built on, you've got to do this and you've got to follow follow these rules, you know, whereas them, it's like, where are the rules? There's, there's, there's no rules, you know, but they, they are happy. So it's like these rules are keeping, are causing restrictions from going out and, and enjoying, enjoying this life, you know? So it's like, there's a little bit of a feeling of despair coming through with this as well, you know? But like I say, <laughs> I like my butts, don't I? If we have a look, he could actually squeeze through that fence. He totally, totally could. That just reminded me, and I don't know why I'm even saying this, but there was a park at the bottom of my street when I was growing up. And, you know, all of my friends used to live in the same street and there was loads of us. And the park shut at a certain time of the night, but we managed to bend like the, the, um, the railings like that. We all managed to bend them. And we would go and we would have to get like, you know, get get through, put our heads through, then our body, you know, so that we could sneak into this park on on a night time, you know. And <laughs> that's just a memory of 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 friends. But that's what you do, you know, it was all about all about the fun. So that's it. Railings didn't stop us, you know, they they didn't. And if we have a look, that little boy could sneak right through there if he wanted to. But he doesn't have to sneak right through because if we have a look, 
that gate is actually unlocked. So all he has to do is give that gate a push. You know, have a little bit like, like try it. Have a little bit of like, I wonder what would happen if I push that gate, you know. And once he tries, he will realize, you know, that he is free to venture into that rainbow world you know, and it's, it's, it's just there waiting for him. So it's, it's like I say, you may feel like you are restricted. Nobody ever is restricted. You know, there is always ways where you can go out, you can meet people, you know, you can become part of something, you know, and you can enjoy yourself. Now, if we have a look at this, there's a lot of green seeping through the gate. I don't know if you can see that. And this is like, this is always coming from the heart chakra, the green. So this is talking about like, it's like the light has already touched him. So he's, he sort of had a little glimpse into that world and it's, it's there, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of around him. So it's like he can have that. All he's got to do is, is, is try a little bit, you know? So I, th I think with this card, what this card is saying is like, what is it you really want? Where is it you want to be? You know, what is it your heart wants to do? Because whatever it is, go off and do that. You know, you can work, you know, you can work, work, work. You know, I'm not saying pack your job in, but I'm saying that doesn't need to be the focus. Your focus is about having fun and about actually going where you want to go with life. You know, like I say, Alan Watts talks about it all the time. You know, it's better to have a short, fulfilled life than a long life that is full of misery. You know, what? what is the point? That is just prolonging stuff, you know? So it's like, you may think that there are obstacles in your way that are stopping you from living in this rainbow world where it's all happiness and joy and fun, you know? But the only obstacles are you. All you have to do is you just have to try because that gate's open, you know? So once you open that gate, the chains will be left on the other side and you can venture out, you know? It's like you can have the rainbow if you want it. It's, it, it, it's there. So I really, really, I don't like that card, but I like the fact that it's like, you know, there's, there's the difference between the two. So that is actually, um, you could get that. That is actually viable. All it just needs is a little bit, a little bit of trying. And like I say, sort of, you know, being brave enough to actually take that step. Now, when I got my spirit cards here, this card is called Electra. I really, really like it. I love the imagery on these cards. And it, this card, it, it, there's a lot of energy in it. And what it says is electricity, thunderbolt, activation. You are subconsciously connecting with the awesome power that lies in the energy of the stars. Intergalactic transmission from a place beyond time. A message is coming. Be open-minded. Now, you know when I said on here there's something happening like universal? It's like, I really don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but I feel that it is something, it's something significant. It's something that is very high energy. It's something that um, I feel will be welcomed. It'll be like, whoa, what, what, what the hell is that, you know? Um, I feel it could be some sort of like, I don't know, emotional transformation or something like that. You know, there's a freedom. There's a, this is what it is that's coming, you know, something, something special. And I do feel that it could come this week as well, you know. Now I'm going to pull another card there just to see what is, see if there's anything coming with that because it, this is now getting me intrigued. And right, there you go emotional breakthrough. Ha! <laughs> wow. So this is like release. This is freedom. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Relationships deepen as a result. So this is it. There's some something to do with, with friendships or a meeting with friendships or something. I feel that there's, there's information going to be passed on. You know, there's things that you're going to hear that are, you know, are going to give cause for celebration, for happiness, for you to express yourself in the way that you want to. And in turn, this will deepen these bonds and these relationships that, that are already there, you know? So, wow, this, this is quite a interesting reading. The energy with this is great. So then I, with the Colette Baron Reed cards that I pulled, is to the sea. Now, 
what is this saying? Is this a saying just go with the flow of life? You know? So when when things are happening how they should, they just flow, you know, and it's like it's 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 endless. You know, it's effortless. Everything is effortless. And that's what it's like with friends, isn't it? You know, and this is saying you need to go with the flow right now. You know, so there's a wave of opportunity coming for you. So it's like get ready to ride it here because the the conditions are perfect for it, you know. So it's saying allow your trust, allow your faith, you know, to guide you and just go with the river, you know, flow with the river here as well, you know, because this is... I was going to say that this is like the sea of life, but then I got the sea of love. Now, the what's the song, the sea of love? Um, it's So many artists have covered it, but I love the Cat Power version. Is it Cat Power? Yeah. Yeah, and it, 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 it's sea of love. Yeah, look it up if you want it. But that's what came through there. It was the sea of life, I was going to say. And like I say, there seems to be somebody there smiling on us so this is like the universe is smiling on you ready to give you a gift ready ready to take you take you somewhere this is it this is it. this i feel this is a metaphoric journey because this card is is you know there's an arrow telling you which way to go and it's like i say it's saying well i've said this before with this card there's binoculars there and it's like don't look back you know, don't look back, leave that in the distance, it's going forward. Now, she is in a boat made of paper, so what she's doing, she's utilised what she has um, in order to get her where she needs to go. So, there's, there's a real magical element around, around these cards, and it's like, I just, I just want to say with these cards that this is, there's a, there is something that's going to be done together. This is it. I don't know if you're going to be part of it, part of a group, planning a journey, or this is part of your life's journey. There is something going to happen which could divert the course of your life's journey. How how dramatic does that sound, right? Okay, um, that's what's coming through. You know, I've I've got to, I've got to give it. What are you saying? Stay calm. This isn't chaos. This is excitement. There's a lot of things happening. And I just feel that there is there's so many celebrations coming coming this week. There's a lot of security being brought in with this. There's a lot of love being sent. And there's a lot of communication as well. The clouds are going to part. This is what they're showing me. The clouds are going to part, and it's like sunshine again. I don't know, I don't know what that means. We've had actually had snow here today. <laughs> you know, ridiculous. It's it's nearly May, and we've got we had snow for a bit. But yeah, this is saying the the dark clouds are parting. So I really feel there's a clarity coming. This could be within a conversation that somebody says something to you, um, and something becomes apparent within this this conversation. And it's like I say, things are just going to flow easier. It's, it's, this is, this is destined. It's, I hope that made sense. This is like, I'm really intrigued with this now. So I really feel it's like, don't, don't like lock yourself out in the cold. If this is how you're feeling, you know, go connect with friends, call, call your old friends up, you know, get in touch with them, arrange to meet up, you know, uh, like I say, Skype, even if you can't get there physically, you know, there's, there's Skype, there's phone calls, there's FaceTime, you know, really make these connections because I think what you need to think here is that they're just bringing in here and this is all a bit morbid, so uh, sorry, I don't want to explore this too much, is like how many friends, if you got a phone call to say, something had happened to one of your friends, you know, and they were no longer with us, they were no longer on this plane, you know, somebody who you hadn't seen for ages, you know, how would you feel about that, you know, so take a couple of minutes, you know, to send a text message, you know, to write an email or, you know, just something like that, send a Facebook message, hey, how are you doing, you know, I've just been thinking about this time we've done that, this time we got our heads stuck in the railings, <laughs> um, you know, and, uh, you know, think, think about that because it's, it's all very well and good, you know, um, 
sitting round sitting round a pub, you know, when there's a coffin in front of you telling everybody how much somebody meant to you or um, you know, about all of the times that you the good times you had, it's much better to reminisce with that person, you know. So like I say, just think about who has been important in your life, who has been monumental in your life and instrumental in it as well, because they're, they're seeing instrumental there with the harp. Um, and like I say, you know, it's I, I really feel it's time to to connect this. This electricity is great. This is this this is such a great card. Um, and it's it's like I say, there's something there's something something good going to happen. So please watch out for that. So I hope that made sense to you all. Um, if anybody would like a reading with me, please get in touch via my website or via my Facebook. Readings are getting booked up pretty quickly, so please bear in mind. And like I said before, if I don't answer your email within the first 30 seconds that you send it, you know, then uh, I will, you know, usually within 30 minutes, you know, I, I can get them and get them uh replied to. Okay, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow with the cards of the day. Sat Nam.